One of the most popular uses of Photoshop, and this has been around forever, is basic color editing of photos. Most of us are not great photographers. Luckily for you, I'm really not a good photographer, so you're gonna get a lot of messed up photos that you're gonna have to touch up for me, okay? So I'm gonna go here to file and open, and in the chapter eight folders, right here, I've got folder number one, black and white conversions. Simple shot of this mountain. And what I want to do is turn this into a good quality black and white photo. Okay, what I would recommend whenever you're doing any kind of major editing on a photo, don't do it on your original copy. First thing I do whenever I open a photo is hit Command J. I duplicate it. The duplicate is for experimentation. I'm not even sure what I'm going to like until I see it. So I, I experiment. I do it on a copy in case I screw up. I'm human. So what I'm going to do is go to image menu since I'm looking at a color image. Adjustment since I don't like those colors and values. I want to adjust them. And I will go to black and white. Okay, that is immediately going to strip out all the color, but Photoshop will remember the colors. This mountain right here is still reddish orange. So if I know that there was a lot of red, excuse me, <coughs> sorry about that. If I know the mountain was this reddish orange, there is still, when I turn off the preview, reddish orange in there. So if I want the mountain to stand out a little brighter, I drag the reds to the right to make them bright. Drag the reds to the left to make them dark. Okay, I might go a little more to the left. Eh. No, I want it brighter. Sorry, I'm going to go to the right. Make the yellows a little brighter there. Make it stand out. The trees and the bushes, uh, a lot of green, so I'll make those darker, add a little more contrast within the photo. The sky, since the sky was kind of light, you don't want to drag your values to the extreme. If I drag way over here, I'm going to get a very grainy, pixelated look and I'm also losing a lot of detail so if there's not a lot of value to begin with don't try to push that too far okay you're just going to make your photos worse like this you can see all the grain and it just looks really bad so I want to keep those blues somewhat in that neutral gray range and maybe just update the mountain because that's the foreground element anyway but once you click OK then your colors are permanently gone. So just remember that. And that is the easiest way to convert color photos into black and white.